Okay, student. Today we will see a new topic in a grammar that is the verb. So, students, everyone know about it. What is the verb? Verb that what the subject of a sentence does. Verb, it is used. It shows a group. It, it is used to indicate that something happens. It is used to indicate it is something happened. The action is happening. The verb gives the idea of action of doing something work. All convey action. All convey the action. Verb means what? Verb in a simplest you can say an action. If a person doing some kind of action, that is called a verb. Now, still now, now, at present, what is my action? Teaching or speaking. This is my action. What is your action, students? What is your action? You are listening very thoroughly what the teacher is saying. That is your action. Understood? This is a simple meaning about the verb. That if the fun, if the person is doing such kinds of action, action, movement of body part, movement of some physical appearance, that is called an action. Let us see uh, some example because when I'll show you the example, the concept will be more clear to you. A verb is a word that shows action, like a jumping, sleeps, eats. Okay. Here the girl, what she's doing, what's her action? Jumping. Okay. The baby sleeps, sleeping. That's the baby's action. What the man is doing? It's a burger. That's a man action. There are various examples, students. Like a drinking, swimming, looking, roaming, okay, fighting. These are different these are the different words. This is the action words, which are the examples of the verb. Understood? Verb, that means where's your body movement, where the physical appearance are moved, that's, that action are the examples of the verb. Okay. For example, Natasha is fighting with her elder sister. So in the sentence, which words, which words comes under the verb? So students, we have a different examples which is comes under the verb. Sleeping, jumping, running, eating, drinking. When you're talking all about this action words, you can observe it, the body movements is goes on. Right? But there is a non-verb also. Now what is this non-verb? Non-verb, that means a non-action verb. That is a non-action verb. But then too, they can comes under the verb. If you're talking about the non-action verb, the non-action verb, it does not inculcate the body movement. There is no physical appearances going on. But then too, they are called a verb. Then too, they are comes under the verb. But they are called non-action verb. Remember this word, non-action verb. First, we are discussed about the verb where the body movement is going on, where the action is going on. Now, we are discussed about the non-action verbs. Now, let us see the examples. Non-action verbs, it shows feel, like, love, hate, want, need, prefer, wish. These are the examples of non-action verb. When you feel something, have you able to see some action is going on? Your body movement is there? No, it's just a feeling. Okay, it's just a feeling that you can express while you're talking, while your body language, while your expressions. Right? Think, believe, know, imagine, understand, see, hear, taste, smell. This is all the words comes under the non-action verb. Okay. 
feelings and needs thought you are just thinking you believe you know you understand okay if you're talking about the think if you're talking about the believe believe is some kind of thought it's a idea it's a concept when you're talking about the believe you can't express through your body language that's the reason this kinds of words comes under the non action verb okay now here we have the example students see in this picture you can see non action verb first example it's a non action verb i see dogs running i see dogs running you are see you are just see the dogs are running this is a non action verb see the second picture i am looking at the dogs see the second picture wait a minute i'll take a pen see non action verb i see dogs running action verb i am looking at the dogs now you people was thinking what is the difference in two sentences there is a big difference in two in this two sentence students see i am looking at the dogs that you want a desire to look towards at the dog you want to look towards the dog okay i see dogs are running okay if suddenly someone come in front of you suddenly it's roaming here and there you ping suddenly your observation is divert and you look you see there so you, you look there you see there right you see that dogs are running your desire you don't want to give the attention automatically your attention divert so you see dogs are running i am looking at the dogs that means that is your desire that you want to give the attention towards the dogs so that the reason i am looking to the dogs because that is your action you want to be look towards the dog okay i clear here i want to be clear gives you one more example that is i i am listening towards the teacher i am listening towards the teacher in the classroom because when you in the classroom you are sitting your desire your attention your focus only towards the teacher so that time what you are doing students you are listening to the teacher you are listening to the teacher so listening it's your action verb it's your action verb okay now if now suppose suddenly suddenly some kind of sound it's come to your ear okay some kind of sound suddenly it's some some kind of sound it's come sound okay and that time you just heard at that time you just heard with the help of your ears you heard why you heard because there is not your desire your attention to heard the music at that time okay that is you just heard that is not your you are not desire you are not attention that you want to be listen a music at that time so from the outside outside of the classroom some kind of music is there you are heard that music you just heard why because your attention is towards the teacher you don't want to attain to that music which is goes on out of the classroom so that third word comes under the non action verb it comes under the non action verb because your attention your focus towards the teacher you want to listen towards the teacher that is your action verb listening it's action verb because you want to listen heard that means some kinds of sound which is happening in the background some kind of sound is happening in the background it comes to your ear so you heard so heard is a non action verb because you don't want to give attention you don't want to desire to listen it so that sound it's a heard understood so that heard word is comes under the non action verb i'll give you one more example the one more example is that i am looking towards the teacher i am looking towards the teacher in the classroom because you want to give attention your towards the teacher 
and suddenly and suddenly outside the corridor if some students are roaming here and there your mind is divert you directly observe you directly see who is this roaming here and there so at that time you just see you don't want to give the attention towards that students who are roaming in the corridor so there is a difference looking and see your attention looking towards the teacher so the looking words is comes under the action verb that is your action you want to be looking but some students are roaming here and there so your mind is divert and you just see who is in outside so the see that is comes under the non action verb because you are not attention you, you don't want to give the attention or focus what is happening in outside understood so this is a difference what is see and the looking okay we have one more example students just a second see some action words express the emotions okay i hate computers i love computers i hate dusters i love dusters i hate this dress but i love those dress so such kinds of words like a love hate like dislike it's also comes under your non action verbs non action verbs because you're hating someone okay you like someone this is also action which is related in your ment in your in your mental you in your mental ability i can say in your mental ability okay this is your thought process you hate someone you love someone you like someone you dislike someone it is your thought process you believe you think you understand okay you acknowledge you trust you not trust you agree you disagree this is your thought process okay so here this kinds of words also can called non action verb see here test smell sound feel see describes a sense or appearance it describes a sense and appearance so it this all are the examples of non action verbs because these are the examples where the body movements and physical movements is not going on students but your thought process your thought process is not moving but your mental ability is presence over there so that is it is called non action verb see some non action verb describes thoughts i think it's beautiful i disagree i don't think it's a beautiful i disagree okay so here what students your mental ability it's doing a action no mental ability it's a in a action mode so some words are there where the action ability is doing some kind of action so that is comes under your non action verb okay so this is about the students verb and which kinds of examples will comes under the verb where your body movements process is going on that is the verb and second is non action verb where your mental ability is action not a physical no body movements are there but then too there are some words there are some kinds of concept who comes under the non action verb okay now this is all about the verb and non action verb let me discuss about the auxiliary verb and the modal auxiliary verb just a second wait now what is the auxiliary verb auxiliary verb that means help the main verb and it is also called a helping verb okay it is also called a helping verb auxiliary verb it is utilized to help to the main verb what is our main verb this only that um main verb that is the action word like a drinking uh roaming laughing eating talking this is our main verb so 
when you make a sentences we need a helping verb we need a helping verb and this helping verb also shows the tense also whether is a past tense whether is a present tense whether is a future tense okay so at that moment the helping verb is most which it's play a vital role action happened in the past or in happening in the present or will happen in the future how it will be described only when you use auxiliary verb that means a helping verb we have the examples also like am is are was were been been be has have had did this kinds the words are called a helping verb okay why they are called to the helping verb because they help to the main verb and when we have both this helping verb and the main verb then only we our we can make a proper sentence structure and that proper sentence structure it shows whether it's a past whether it's a present whether it's a future okay i am i'll make here one sentence students pay attention i am dancing in the rain i am dancing in the rain so i am dancing dancing it's your verb it's your action verb i am dancing in the rain it show this is a present tense it shows it was a present tense i was ate i was ate the rice i was ate the rice or i was eaten the rice i was eaten the rice i was and eaten eaten your action verb eaten your action verb was it shows what was it shows that this is your past tense okay with the help of sentence see what is my sentence i was uh, okay i'll change that sentence i was dance in the ring i was dance in the ring okay i was dance in the ring so here dance is your action verb that means your verb and was it shows past was it shows past tense yes students right was it shows the past tense so when you it comes together if it is comes together if we get together the word formation the sentence formation then you comes to know that in a previous time my action is dance and it is a past tense and it is a past tense understand and it is a past tense so was it's your helping verb that means your auxiliary verb with the help of that auxiliary verbs helps to the main verb what is our main verb what is our main verb in the students you can reply me through the chat what is our main verb what is our main verb oh so this is about the auxiliary verb that is the main verb is also called a helping verb okay it is utilized to show the past present and future tense okay students so students all it's about the verb okay in that we are seeing action verb we are seeing non action words and we are see the auxiliary verb also that is a helping verb there is a one more topic that we will see tomorrow's lecture okay i hope you understand this verb 